Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video we will unbox and review a super ultra wide monitor and that's the Innocent 44 C1G. So without further ado, oh, it's quite heavy but let's see what we have here. Okay, so let's get going. We'll start with these two bags, which are the cables. This one is the power adapter cable. You have the display port cable and the HDMI. The manuals, this is the user manual for the art monitor, as they call it. And in here we have the Innocent Monitor Color Calibration Factory Report. Basically, it's all kinds of data, which measures the color temperature, the gamma curve. If you're interested in all kinds of data, you should check out this paper because it will offer you the necessary specs which relate straight to the monitor. Yeah, so basically this is the base stand for the monitor. It's quite heavy, I think it's two kilos at least. This should be the other part of the stand, I think. Yes. So basically the monitor will come stuck in here and then the stand right here. The setup was fairly simple, with the two pieces of the stand that had to be locked in by a screw and then all I needed to do was place the stand on the back of the monitor which had a simple lock mechanism. And that was it. The monitor has a simple build design with a navigation panel underneath to switch sources, change the volume and play with many other settings. Hidden in the back right under the monitor is the connection panel which has one type C port two HDMI ports, one display port and the audio input which is a basic 3.5mm jack input. All in all, the fact that these panels are placed right under the monitor will inevitably reveal your cables which might not give the best looks when it comes to tidiness. Now let's talk display as we got an absolute unit when it comes to the size because it's a really wide monitor, more precisely 43.8 inches with a 32 by 9 ultra wide aspect ratio which will give you approximately two 24 inch monitors stuck together so make sure you do have the space to actually place this monitor maybe on an empty wall if you want to mount it on your wall or a pretty big table like mine for example. When I first tried out the monitor it was pretty hard to get used to it because I'm mostly used to curved monitors with a decent height and this one simply lacks the necessary height that I actually need but with time and a bit of practice you easily get addicted to this display because it will definitely increase your productivity especially if you're a multitasker. The default resolution is 3840 by 1080 which is not super sharp if you already are used to 1440p or 4K resolutions but given its wideness this is not such a big minus. Besides it is running at 120Hz and it's VISA certified HDR400 which is an entry level HDR display running at the aforementioned 400 nits which might not offer enough brightness if you're a picky person. But when it comes to the color, well these monitors will come with a color calibration factor factory report which means they were calibrated to match as close as possible the display to what your eyes are seeing in real life. The conclusion is that you'll get decent colors with a reasonable brightness and pretty solid levels of black without any high expectations. So then who would use this monitor? As the title on the box was saying this is a monitor for art but in general it was made for productive people who are easily capable of multitasking, so you can use this monitor in multiple ways. You can either split screen it in up to three windows at once, you can use it for video editing, even though I found it to be a bit harder to use in this regard, as I usually tend to focus in the center and not have to really bend my head left and right to see what I'm doing, but nevertheless, this monitor is especially made if you want to focus on multiple things at once. Besides this, you can also use it for gaming and some games will display correctly while others may not as they can end up being stretched and look too wide, although it can easily do 120Hz gaming to get that really smooth vibe. When playing, I noticed that I was way more immersed than on my usual monitor, probably because you get a wider field of view that tends to trick the brain into believing the gaming experience more, so I found playing games quite enjoyable. All in all, this ultra-wide monitor is a great choice if you're on a budget and you want to unleash your multitasking skills and creative juices, or simply get immersed in your favorite games. 
Right now, this monitor runs at around $700 on the Innocent official website, so make sure to grab one if you think this is the right choice for you. And this is a wrap. Thanks for watching, and as usual, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thank you.